everyone. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here and for tuning in again. Um, I'm Valencia with Val 333 Tarot and with Spirit. Uh, of course, before we get started here, um, I do want to get go ahead and get started with the prayer. You're more than welcome to just skip and get to the tarot if you'd like. If you don't like prayer, if you're not into that, um, or you find it boring or whatever. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just get started here. We're going to start with the Lord's Prayer for protection first, okay? I have a few prayers here for all of us. All right, here we go. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. All right. And so our other prayer here is a prayer for all of us humans collectively. Dear God, source, the creator and the all higher celestial beings that are of good, love, light, healing, guidance, support, and protection. Please help all of us humans to collectively want to heal ourselves individually and truly want to focus on ourselves to become a better, higher version of who we are meant to be. Help us to not get caught up in negatively false distractions by the media, electronics, new technology, and negatively pushed worldly agendas. Help us to stop trying to escape our feelings through TV, social media, trying to prove oneself through a false image drugs, alcohol, addictions, sex, and lust, or by taking our own lives through despair. Help us to stop trying to escape ourselves and necessary harsh life lessons for quick, false, instant gratification that never lasts. Help us to slow down in this world where it's negatively forced to keep going with speed by competing with others. Help us to stop expecting others to change us or heal us when we know only we can do that and make us surrender to our own deep feelings and intuition, even if it hurts. Help us to realize if we don't change now, Mother Earth will give up on us and we will sadly feel, see, and experience the wrath of God and Jesus through horrific natural disasters. Help us to realize if we all treated ourselves and each other with patience, putting ourselves in each other's shoes, kindness and unconditional love, even with those whom we agree with or dislike and disagree with, that it would bring us as a human species one step closer to the heaven on earth utopia that would be possible again in this lifetime. Help us to want to get to a world where we don't judge one another over skin color, genetics, race, gender, sexuality, status, fame, fortune, or material items and image where we don't favor one gender over the other. We don't hate one race or class over the other because we all have been one another through past lives. Help us get to a point where everyone isn't wanting praise for acting negative on purpose because it's trending or wanting praise for false work that isn't theirs or a false messiah or prophet narcissistic complex over greed, money, politics, and brainwashing. Help us to become aware consciously as a whole species and to become collectively aware individually within ourselves and in our homes, our own homes, neighborhood and communities. Help us to realize and teach us to respect one another even if we don't agree with one another for we are all the same person, that we all come from the same source and are split into billions of different versions of God to have this beautiful human experience so we can collectively love one another and want to help one another without expecting anything in return. Help us to see that animals, wild and domesticated, are the same as us. Just because they can't talk doesn't mean we treat them any lesser. Help us to realize we are all here for a bigger reason and mission on this planet and to see everything as equal and alive. To see trees, water, sand, plants, rocks, bugs, and minerals as living and breathing entities and positive loving energies that help to keep us alive. Help us to become more grateful in life and less fear-based with the lack mentality. Send us your telepathic signals of loving influence to help us to want to individually and collectively treat each other as the one big family we truly are. 
so we can end the dying, the wars, the killings, the shootings, the poverty, the stealing, the mental self-imprisonment, the bullying, the inner and outer hatred, the jealousy, the gluttony, the laziness, the evil that lurks around, the addictive unhealthy behaviors, the unnecessary toxic karma that keeps us in a cycle of hell. Help us to finally face all our trauma because if we don't, we set ourselves back painfully and enter hellish behaviors and lifestyles that are of no good. Help us to realize that the devil only exists because we let him exist through blaming his influence instead of realizing that we are responsible for our own actions, thoughts, and words. Make us start to face judgment day and take self-accountability and responsibility for ourselves to truly be humbled for we are so small compared to you, God. Help us to love ourselves so much that it only hurts during the process because we realize that how we have been living on this planet has been horribly wrong and not a true path. Help us create a chance for our lives and for the future generations to come. Help us to think for ourselves and to get rid of ignorance, to face our depression, to finally face the pain we avoid to feel every day and to peacefully learn from it. Help us to actually align our inner child, our inner chakras, to break generational curses and become more balanced. Help us to have the heart of Jesus like he did for us when he knew we would destroy everything and yet he still loves us and forgives us unconditionally. Help us to start taking our life more seriously and learn to respect and believe in faith, God, source, the creator, the all celestial beings of love and light, the universe, the planet earth, the galaxy, and Jesus Christ himself. We ask you to help us with this, please, in Jesus' name. Amen. Prayer for newer returning viewers or subscribers for love, light, protection, and healing. Dear God, source, the creator, and the all celestial beings that are of good, love, light, healing, and protection. May you please surround each human being who comes across this video and this channel with a protective force field layer of white light to guide and protect them now and after this video. May they feel well and begin to heal themselves and sleep well and gain a sense of love and inner peace within them. May they no longer feel fear and see through it for it is only an illusion. Let them know they are truly powerful on their own and that they are not alone. Any negative entity or energies or people trying to hurt them, may you banish them back to the foot of the cross and remove them from these innocent people and their homes. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. All right, that is our prayer. Thank you so much for being here. Now let's get to the tarot. Hi Leo, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 333 Tarot and with Spirit. And we're just going to jump right in here, Leo, and see what's going on with you today. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. So, of course, it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot. Thank you. And um, I do offer same-day personal readings for $33. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Okay, so business, money, finances, making things work with yourself, but also with others, being equal. There's equal exchanges going on, back and forth, give and take, maybe with you and someone or you within yourself. Really working on that, okay? Hmm. Okay, maybe that's where it's a little confusing wanting that equality wanting something equally reciprocated and given maybe maybe given back and that's where you come at a crossroads where something's very confusing at first um very cloudy in the mind but maybe having to make a decision that you may or may not be ready for
Maybe there's you're just battling a little bit of indecisiveness too. Oh, okay, it's just how you wanna do your approach. You could be romantically um, involved with someone or wanting to be, you may be wanting to approach someone, you feel loving and happy with them. If it's not about a person, it's just you within yourself, there's something here that feels really good to you once you've made your choice, so you did make your choice. Okay, very nice, you've made a choice about something here, yourself or like I said, a person. Ooh, yeah, um, definitely something about a marriage or commitment or relationship here. So you definitely, so ooh, you might be someone that's going to, you're about to get married. Um, or you're just, you know, having a little romance, sparking things up with you and your person if you're already in a marriage or commitment or relationship of some sort. If it's not any of that, um, there's something going on where you feel really good once you've made this decision, this choice to be giving and equal and loving, now there's like more like of that heart energy and feeling nice and feeling loving and you know compliments here compliments there that you're giving to others freely with nothing in return it makes you feel more abundant and fulfilled and happy and secure i get the sense that you do have a support system in some way shape or form whether it's family whether it's a sense of community and people and loved ones either or here it's really nice and you feeling secure with yourself based on something i feel like you are happy with and successful with if that makes sense Yeah, so that's giving you some nostalgia. That's causing you to want to do things like go back to the past, do something about the past, maybe deal with certain people from then. But something here is feeling nostalgic and healing and, and loving, maybe therapeutic even as well, okay, in the situation. Yeah, you're wanting to do that and go back to that or them, whatever that is there. That makes you happy. And you're ready, you might be ready to go ahead and do this and start this journey and just go for it. It's something that makes you feel free. And this is about your career path, your job, something here with that. Yes, working with others, collaborations possibly, but you within yourself, your own career path, your job, finances, something here in regards to that here. You're just going to go for it maybe, but it's something with that here. Maybe a new career path, a different, a change, something or a current one. Yeah, you're, you're, you feel good and confident, passionate, and you're ready to take action to do that, whatever that is here. You're like ready already. Like you feel really good for this. Nice. Well, that's what I have for you for today here, Leo. Thank you. Bye. All right. I do hope that that message and the reading did help you all. And um, so thank you for being here, for tuning in. We're going to go ahead and close out with our closing prayer. Um, this is just to feel, for feel good, peace, love, and community. Okay. All right. Dear God, we thank you for your presence with us today. As we depart from this space now, we ask you to bless us throughout the remainder of the day and guide us safely home. May we have the means to eat food, find shelter, get the resources to help ourselves, to have a roof over our heads, to drink clean water, to be able to shower and clean ourselves, to feel loved and not feel alone, to feel gratitude that we are alive and woke up today, to have enough money and tools to help us provide for ourselves with the basic needs of life. Do not let the learning and the conversations of this gathering die, but instead may they continue to ruminate within us and bear fruit in our daily journey of life throughout the year. Until we find ourselves together again, we ask this in the name of Jesus Christ and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Bye.